YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Uh, before I finish up this reading that I've been doing uh, for posterity's sake more than anything else, not that anybody can understand it or listens, about the fact that the IAEA has never tested their uh, safety model culture, uh, we're not shocked because we're living in a radiated world now. We're all glowing. This is actually a response to Thomas Ackerman saying that Trump is going to win because people have given up. Um, even yesterday, Michael Moore put out a big fuck you video that said, hey, we got to vote for Trump because he's against the system. Trump is exactly the system, folks. Honestly, I feel like I'm talking to my girlfriends who stayed with their fucking husbands who beat the fuck out of them. That's what we're doing. If you vote for Clinton or you vote for Trump, you are staying with the batterers. Because Trump is not an outsider. Trump has declared bankruptcy four times. You know what that means? He told everybody who helped him build his fortunes to go fuck off. He wasn't paying them. And maybe you feel that that's what America needs to do with everybody else is tell everybody else to go fuck off. But guess what? The United States has done nothing but cause harm and wreak havoc around the world since the get-go. We are an arm of the queen, period. Why do you think that we imported the highest grade uranium from Canada, brought it down to St. Louis, and then buried it fucking secretly all over the goddamn United States? Why do you think we have over a million uranium mines all open? At a bare, okay, the EPA low estimate is 15,000. We know of at least 200,000 mine applications. And those mines were just opened up as just regular mines. Since the nuclear industry started, the United States has done nothing but lie and bully its way around the world. We did not have to even drop those two bombs. We did it to experiment on people. It was the first time we decided we're going to experiment on a massive scale on millions of people around the planet. It did not just affect Japan. And for people, I, this is the thing. You want to talk about heartbreak? Heartbreak is being one of seven children and surviving serious abuse. I'm sitting here thinking about whether I should explain the level of abuse that I had to endure as a child so that people will understand the gravity of the situation and how heartbreaking it is to work through those issues as a young woman, as a child, as an adult, to go through therapy throughout my life to shake off that negative statement that you don't exist, that you mean nothing, that you were a slave to the system. My parents literally told us that we were given, they had eight kids so that we could be their slaves and they treated us like it in every manner. Physical and sexual abuse, use your imagination. It was worse than anybody could even imagine. And my poor nieces and nephews are suffering at the hands of their own parents who never got help. And many of them will just not vote. They're millennials who are like, fuck this, the system never did shit for us. And we have these people out there saying, Mike Pence is a good guy. Mike Pence is a fucking monster. He wants to put women in jail for exercising their right to protect their families. And this bullshit that abortion is murder, you know who says that? Fucking men. Men who can't get pregnant. Men who've never had to be raped and end up with a child that you, like, despise from your father or for your brother or from your uncle. You're going to have a baby that you know is mutated and these fucking men are calling you a murderer. It's bullshit. And you know what? This is the heartbreak of it all. My motto in life has been love is greater than fear. I have opened my heart continually my entire life just to survive the bullshit that's gone down. And to listen to anybody say that Donald Trump and Mike Pence are decent human beings when every evidence... Look, Trump's children didn't even fucking register to vote in New York on time to vote for them, you fucking low-information voters. I mean, honest to God. I read that. In fact, I'm going to actually research this, but I wouldn't doubt if it's true. That Jill Stein is heavily invested in the pharmaceutical companies that she uh, criticizes. 
So it's not just Trump and Clinton. It's the whole fucking culture is sick at the core. Like my family was sick at the core. And we had to rise up. And frankly, I don't even know. I'm one of eight kids, and I don't even know if how many of my siblings have actually really made it. They live in fucking La La Jesus Land is going to come save us. And you know why? Because they can't face life. It's too painful. They still hate themselves, so they need Jesus to love them so they don't have to hate themselves. I get that. I went through that phase where I thought I needed Jesus in order for me to love myself. That is the heartbreak, folks. You know what's heartbreaking? It's heartbreaking to hear people tell me that Donald Trump is a good guy. What the fuck happened to the light in this room? Well, I'm going to keep on. Let's see if this light works. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I'm not afraid of them. Um, I am not afraid. You know what? I'm not afraid of even the people who want Trump. I'm not really afraid of Trump and Pence. We could survive that. I do believe that after this selection, and believe you me, Clinton is going to be the president. There is no option. It's not about... We didn't hear these people fucking whining about vote rigging when Bernie Sanders got it stolen from him. We didn't hear about it when fucking George Bush stole the election and then dragged us into war and took away all of our fucking rights through passing the Unpatriot Act. All of those fucking Congress people clicked their heels and said, Sig Heil, we will do what you want, master. Talk about fucking heartbreaking. What's the heartbreak? The heartbreak is our people act like fucking battered wives who refuse to leave. We need to leave them, folks. You need to eliminate the narcissists. Narcissism is a sickness in our country, and it is socially engineered. We do not have to live like that. We can open up our hearts and love each other. I mean, I personally am going to vote third party. I'm not going to vote for Jill Stein, frankly. I mean... I'm not going to vote for any of them. Fuck them. I mean, maybe I'll just vote for the lowest guy on the totem pole. I mean, who do we vote for? Hillary Clinton, who is the ascender. We know she's going to have it. If she doesn't win, she's going to steal it. But frankly, the Fear Trump campaign has been perfectly well-timed. This whole bullshit about, ooh, Hillary Clinton might lose, might lose because of all the bad things that are coming out. Fuck you. Like, seriously, fuck you. Like, honestly, and I don't even give a fuck about my language. Like, really? That's all just to make us think that maybe the election is real. They can steal the votes from these machines 20 to 30 percent, and they do. I wouldn't even doubt if they stole the GOP nomination so she'd have the right candidate. You know what's the heartbreak? That we have conversations about this. That we don't have fucking masses of people in the goddamn street. On November 5th, I'm having a protest at the new federal building down on in Eugene, Oregon. I posted it up in the Eugene Weekly. And I've posted it up on my Facebook page. I want everybody, and it is about the protest of everything. It's called Stand Up for Our Planet. Because they are mowing us down. Those poor kids at a DAPL, you know, they've arrested 250 people. You know, they're trying to stop. The water protectors are, and they're not going to stop them. What's happened is they're going to be nice until after the elections. And then they're going to fucking start murdering these kids. They need to protect themselves. We need to be fucking sending them life vests. They're playing nicey-nicey because of the election, period. They thought they could sneak it in during the election cycle. They did not see the First Nations banding together and saying, fuck you, you're not taking our burial grounds. And guess what? They're going to do it anyways. We literally are. That's the heartbreak. The fuck? There's so much heartbreak. Honest to God, this is like my... My journey in life. I refuse to live heartbroken. I am not going to live heartbroken. I am not going to be heartbroken. I don't give a flying fuck what you try to do to me. 
My fucking parents were monsters. Thank God my father spared me the sexual abuse and the physical violence he dished out on everybody else, although my mother made up for it, although she never sexually abused me. I did witness shitloads of sexual abuse to the point where I thought my dad didn't love me because he wasn't touching me like that or doing those things to me or forcing me to do things that you can imagine. Humans need to grow up. And Americans have a responsibility, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Our country was the first one to abide by a constitution. We took it for granted, Magna Carta. And guess what happened? Bush just, boom, knocked down the Magna Carta, just said, fuck you, torture's fine. And for the last 16 fucking years, Americans have been fine, fine, fine with it. Do you know I got investigated by the Capitol Police because I called up Mike Pence's office and said I disagreed with his vote to not help the families right before Christmas? Him and John Boehner proudly boasted in front of a fucking microphone that they were proud of their vote to hold back the deficit. While they're fucking bleeding money into the goddamn military, they didn't want to give unemployed people $400 a week during Christmas. I called up Mike Pence's office and said, you know what, sir, I really disagree with you. I hope you tell the congressman that really I hope he changes his vote because there's people that might starve to death. Do you know what those people did? They called the Capitol Police and said I threatened to murder their staff. I got investigated by Captain Donica here in Eugene, Oregon, by a private detec a detective of the Eugene, Oregon, uh, the Eugene Police Department. Now, no, no, nothing was filed. They found out that I'm a fucking pacifist. I would never have said anything like that. The thought wouldn't even occur to me to even threaten anyone like that. They just were making malicious, mafia-style false police reports to slander me, to have it on the record now that I have been accused of murdering them so that I can now be profiled. This is how the fucking mafia works. The intimidation. You want to talk about fucking heartbreak, Tom? For fuck's sake! And you fucking tell me that Trump is going to win? Don't even fucking tell me. I can accept the fact that fucking Hillary Clinton's going to steal the nomination because she's just going to roll on to the Bush plan, which is Barack Obama. Bush and Bush helped Obama get into office. It was all a fucking game. We've all been fucking played. And Trump is the fucking biggest misogynistic fucking disgusting pig. I don't know how anybody can even respect that man. Talking about grabbing a woman's pussy like he can get around and just grab her by the genitals. Anybody he wants because he's fucking rich. Fuck you, Trump. Fuck you for numbering women. Fuck you for like class. Oh, I just love the beautiful ones. Fuck you, all you fucking misogynistic pigs. Women are not just sexual beings to be conquered and fucked at your will. Every woman is not a fucking target. Tom, you want to talk about fucking heartbreak? This is heartbreak. We deserve respect. We deserve love. And I am not going to hate any of them. I'm not voting for them. And I am going to pray like hell that Trump does not take over. Because you want to see the long arm of intimidation? Look what Mike Pence did to me. The mafia style kind of government of Mike Pence. Trump wants fucking people who are Islamic to carry around papers. What if you decide, I used to call my, I used to follow the Baha'i faith. So now what, I'd have to carry papers because I once adhered to his quasi-Islamic faith? Fuck you. This is, you know what they have lost is the fact that as Americans, we have a sense of liberty and freedom that is in our DNA. We were the first country to write a constitution and abide by it, even though we had slaves. And you know why we had slaves? For the same reason fucking Bernie Sanders couldn't stand up and say this was election fraud. Because the system was written so that you couldn't fucking budge. So that the people at the very fucking top who were taking their orders from the Queenie, from the murderer-in-chief of the entire fucking planet? Yeah, it's a heartbreak. But you know what comes after heartbreak? You learn that you are worth loving. 
you learn that you are worth something. You learn that there's still something left over after you've been heartbroken and abused and kicked and tossed aside. There is something inside each one of us that is valuable and precious. And we all have a gift to give. We all have something to share. We do not have to accept the battered wife syndrome of saying that Trump is, oh, he's a, de he's a good alternative. No, he's not a fucking good alternative. And Hillary Clinton is a first worst alternative. But let's just get clear. Trump is not going to have to, like, do the recount. If they did the recount, Clinton's going to win, you stupid fucks. The machines are stolen. We do not have a democracy. See that? Banana. You know what that really symbolizes? The banana republic that we live in now, folks. We live in a banana republic whereby a few corporations really control the entire show. And and you and I, because you're watching my video, you're being targeted. Now, the question is, do we have the courage to stand up to these fucking monsters and take it back? Yes. Just like I read a story this morning about the water protectors. Do you know that the cops are running out of money? Soon they won't be able to, like, go down there and, like... That's why I'm kind of more fearful. They're running out of money, which means they're getting desperate. We need people who can go there to stand up. God dang. I just noticed my eyebrows are kind of crooked, aren't they? That's weird. <laughs> In the middle of it all, I'm still looking at how I look. So there you go. I guess that's not so bad. And I think that's really the issue, folks. Trump is not going to win. How can you win an election that isn't real? How can we rely on a leader who will say any fucking thing, anything to make people believe he's real? He is working for Hillary Clinton's campaign to get his billion dollar fucking bonus. They knew that they had this tape on him calling women and being a fucking sexual predator. They know that he has... In fact, there was last year a story on the Richie Allen show how Donald Trump and Bill Clinton were on a fucking airplane having sex with 13-year-old prostitutes. Now, you can go look that up. I don't remember it. I'm not going to go look it up, but it's out there. Trump got caught up in that pedophile scam, scam that's going on. And, you know, the Queen is covering it all up because evidently the Buckingham Palace runs the uh, sexual predator ring on the entire planet. And it is administered in the United States by the Romney family. Now, that all sounds quite reasonable to me considering that child abduction and uh, sexual predators are accepted. In this country, rapists, unless you're black or Hispanic, don't go to jail for too long. We just read a story this morning where the 12-year-old girl, raped by her father repeatedly, was sent to 60 days in jail. That's how much we have rape culture in our country, which is why I could never vote for Trump. And I pray to God Trump will not ever be elected into the White House because he would flip fast. You know, what? the one thing about Clinton that we have going on for us in terms of uh, her not being the worst thing than Trump. Because she's such a fucking egomaniac, she's going to fight back against her overlords. She might actually want to decide to do something different than what they tell her. She might actually fight back. She's not going to go, Sig Heil, I'll do whatever exactly you say, just like Trump and Pence would do. Trump and Pence are going to roll the tanks down the street, folks. So will Clinton, actually, as a matter of a fact. It's going to get much worse. Talk about a heartbreak. Nobody stood up for the Unpatriot Act. Nobody stood up against the Unpatriot Act. We need to revoke the Unpatriot Act immediately. Immediately. The Price-Anderson Act needs to be revoked. We need to hold people accountable. We need to return to habeas corpus in this country. We need to return to the Magna Carta. And we need to return to people educating their fucking selves. Read a fucking book instead of listening to videos and listening to people on the videos tell you shit that they make up and make it sound like it's fucking history. Because a lot of what's said on these channels is bullshit. Just hyperbole. Yeah, Tom, I'm heartbroken. But you know what? I'm not just heartbroken. I'm recuperating. 
I love myself. And I encourage every single person to look in the mirror every single day and say, I love, honor, and approve of myself. That will give you the courage to find your, to find your voice and to find what actions you need to take. So no, Trump is not going to win. Ciao, you guys. Put your courage beyond.